we decided we wanted to share with you some of the lessons we learned during our first trip in the RV. And some mistakes that were made that damaged the RV just a little bit. Some dents and bruises. So the first one, make sure to check your RV campground website for alternate directions. Or if you did check, make sure you remember those. So we went down a road, it was kind of like, got really narrow, we were following the GPS. And it was one of those half asphalt, half dirt type situations and drop off on both sides so at that point we couldn't turn around and then we got to this really big dip it's used as a wash so it was pretty steep so at that point it was like well nothing else to do but go through it and James did some maneuvers that made the best out of the situation and the RV structure itself was not damaged but the thing that holds the spare, spare tire, tire was bent. It was all like this and then the dip and then up. So you, I, we couldn't really capture how long that was. There was no way we could back out and turn around. Plus the road was so bad we were going like five miles per hour on it. Yeah. So James did some maneuvers and really saved most of the RV except the spare tire holder and then two other people in the car oh yeah i remember seeing something about this on the website so we'll put the damage that occurred right now uh, another issue we had it was pretty hot luckily it wasn't too hot but the dogs were riding in the rv and the generator wasn't powering the ac units it would turn on so I went and checked a little bit on the way back and it, it says there's supposed to be a fuse on one of the lines, in line, an inline fuse, and the fuse is missing. So hopefully that's it, but I'll just let them deal with it because we got to take the RV back because there's a recall. Yay. The next one is be prepared for a few dings and damages. Rest in peace, French press. It was one of the casualties of moving the RV. Also, rest in peace, um, rear door curtain. Yeah, Pepper destroyed that. She picked a very inconvenient time to get diarrhea. And she was really desperate trying to get out so she didn't go inside. And we had gone to explore and she just attacked the door to try to get out, you know. Looking back, it was very sweet of her to try to not poop in the RV, but now we have a damaged door. Yeah. Easy fix. Number four, be prepared for a very slow Wi-Fi at your RV campground, which is not bad because you're supposed to be there enjoying family anyway. We both just had some emergency type situations where we needed to have access to the internet for work and we had to use hotspots and we were thinking about going to Starbucks, so just be prepared for that situation. That was just the first day though, so after that we were fine because we didn't need the Wi-Fi okay. anyways. Yeah, but don't go in there without DVDs and think that you're going to have a movie night streaming Netflix because you will not. And from what I read in one of the RV groups, it seems like that's a problem at most campsites. Which brings us to the tips section of this video. We have found RV groups on Facebook to be really helpful. James has learned a lot of things through those groups. Like you should turn off your propane when you're traveling, yeah. <laughs> which makes sense when you think about it. Yeah. And also don't leave your awnings out when you leave, which also makes sense because you never know when a storm might come through, especially in Utah. They have a lot of summer storms or high winds, which could damage your awning. So make sure you put those in, Yeah. which we did not. So luckily these mistakes didn't cost us and we learned about them before our next trip, Yeah. which will be next month. You can ask all these different types of questions if anybody has encountered 
um, issues or they've found solutions for certain things that you're looking at. So super helpful, Facebook groups. Overall, everything was really nice. And if you go into it with an attitude that's positive, like things are gonna happen, but we're gonna make the best out of the situation, your trip is gonna be perfect. So that's it from our first trip. If you guys have your own experiences you'd like to share in the comments below, please do so. Always a learning experience, especially for, sure. for us. We're just trying to put this out there for anybody else who's beginning like we are so they can kind of learn as well learn from our mistakes follow the website definitely join join the rv group yeah before you start and we'll we should have done that first we'll put the one that you follow in the description below hope you guys are having a good time wherever you are and we'll see you next time Bye.